so hi everyone unit 4 linear algebra sem 5 linear algebra sem 5 lo manam ipadu varaku okate oka unit ni discussion cheyadam jarigindi that is uh, unit 2 now coming to unit 4 the name of the unit 4 is what orthogonality and least squares okay so here yeah, if you want to learn all the topics in orthogonality and least squares of unit 4 you need to know some definitions and some basic concepts of uh, uh, complex numbers like imaginary part la, what is a real part like that you need to know some basic definitions okay so in that first definition is what means complex number so what are complex number the set of all complex numbers is equal to a plus ib a comma b belongs to r where i square is is equal to minus 1 okay so numbers which are in the form of a plus ib are called complex numbers okay here a is a real number and the b is a imaginary value so here i square is equal to minus 1 okay the imaginary value of a given complex number is what means b and the real part is a this all you know basic concept okay now coming to the next uh, so let us take any number in the complex uh, that is z is equal to x plus i y is a complex number and is denoted sorry so the norm of the magnitude of this complex number can be written as mod z is equal to square root of x square plus y square okay square root of x square plus y square is what the magnitude of a given complex number the magnitude of given complex number is what means root x square plus y square next we have conjugate concept so what is the conjugate of z is equal to x plus i y what is the conjugate of z is equal to x plus i y means generally we will denote z is equal z as complex number and the z bar as conjugate of a given complex number okay so z bar is nothing but the complex uh, the conjugate of a given complex number okay how we will find the conjugate of any complex number means in place of place we have to replace minus okay means this is the conjugate of this and this is the conjugate of this okay so both are reversible okay so this is what conjugate concept next to main concept that is inner product space okay this is very important to this total entire chap, uh, entire unit what is that inner product space so definition of inner product space this also will come in the examination uh, write the definition of inner product space okay so the vector space v of f is said to be inner product space this also can be written as ips ips means not indian police service ips means here inner product space okay inner product space so what is the definition if for any alpha beta gamma belongs to v such that inner product so this is the this is the representation of inner product okay so inner product of alpha comma beta is equal to inner product of beta comma alpha bar okay so means these two should be equal then inner product of alpha comma alpha should be zero then inner product of a alpha plus b beta comma gamma is equal to a into inner product of alpha comma gamma plus b into inner product of beta comma gamma beta comma gamma if the if these three conditions satisfies satisfies any three vectors then the vector is called inner product space okay then the vectors are in inner product space so this is the definition of inner product space okay so before going to explain the remaining concepts mana channel ki ganaka evaraina first time vachina vallu unnatlaite subscribe cheskodam matram marchipokandi video ni end varaku chudandi inka undi idi only definition of inner product space still we have some more definitions so in this i explained all the basic definitions in this video for what we need for fourth unit not all some definitions i explained here so observe that next uh, how to find inner product okay so that is what inner product space definition but how to find inner product of alpha comma beta so this is the definition see alpha is equal to a1 a2 a3 if you take alpha is equal to a1 a2 a3 beta is equal to b1 b2 b3 
for all alpha comma beta belongs to some r cube r cube is nothing but the elements in alpha here we have 3 here we have 3 so the dimension of uh, this vector is what 3 so that r cube okay now how we will find inner product of alpha comma beta means product of these terms okay means this also can be written as alpha dot beta so dot product actually dot product but here you need to know one base one main concept what is that means if these numbers are in real numbers then it will be a1 a1 b1 plus a2 b2 plus a3 b3 no problem but if alpha is in real number and the beta is in complex how we will do that is a1 b1 bar a2 b2 bar plus a3 b3 bar b1 bar is nothing but what conjugate of b1 for example if b1 is equal to 2 plus 3i so in place of b1 bar what we have to take 2 minus 3i then after we have to multiply okay so this is the concept okay that's why here here we have bar if both are real numbers there is no problem 2 bar is 2 only okay if it is complex then it will be changed the answer will be changed okay so if alpha is equal to a1 a2 a3 belongs to r cube then inner product of alpha comma alpha will become a1 square plus a2 square plus a3 square no problem okay means a1 a2 a1 a2 means sorry a1 a1 into a1 means a1 square a2 into a2 means a2 square like that okay if alpha is equal to a1 a2 e3 in complex number system then the inner product of alpha comma alpha will become mod alpha 1 square sorry mod a1 square plus mod a2 square plus mod a3 square so this is the definitions i will explain problems on this all in the next video don't worry okay then now next concept length of vector or norm of a vector so this is very very important for finding unit vector and the angle between unit vector angle between vectors this concept is very important see how to write this so length of vector or norm of a vector let alpha belongs to v then norm alpha this is the representation of norm already we already this representation came in the riemann integration third sum okay so this is the what norm def, norm symbol so norm alpha is equal to square root of alpha comma alpha okay this is the definition of this is the notation and the definition of norm of a vector or length of a vector so norm, norm alpha can be written as square root of inner product of alpha comma alpha this is not bracket this is inner product inner product of alpha comma alpha means like this will come okay so next unit vector so definition of unit vector see let v of f be any inner an inner product space v of a b an inner product space alpha belongs to or is called a unit vector of alpha then alpha by norm alpha means if you want to find unit vector of alpha what we have to do just we have to do alpha by norm alpha means for example alpha is equal to 2 3 4 okay how to find a unit vector of this simple by 2 square 3 square 4 square so this is the unit vector of alpha that much only we will see in the problem okay so this is the unit vector definition now angle between two vectors okay if you given alpha is equal to alpha one vector and the beta one vector how to find angle between two vectors means cos theta is equal to mod inner product of alpha comma beta inner product of alpha beta comma v if you write not right no problem cos theta is equal to inner product of alpha comma alpha mod inner product of alpha comma alpha by norm alpha norm beta okay how to find norm i explained in the in previously now only how to find inner product how to find mod mod also magnitude mod means magnitude norm is how to find norm i i given here only see this is a norm okay in the numerator magnitude of inner product of alpha comma alpha norm alpha norm beta okay now we will see some problems norm of a vector alpha is equal to okay uh, here uh, one more is there see alpha is equal to a1 a2 a3 a4 for example how to find norm alpha inner product of alpha comma alpha square root of inner product of alpha comma alpha if the square will come this side what it will be inner product of alpha comma alpha also can be written as norm alpha square okay this also will be useful for some theorems okay see 
square root of a1 square plus a2 square plus a3 square plus a4 square this is what norm alpha now find the norm of the vector 1 minus 2 2 0 u is equal to let us take u is equal to 1 minus 2 2 0 the norm of a vector is given by norm of a vector norm u can be written as root of 1 square minus 2 square 2 square 0 square okay that is 1 4 4 total root 9 root 9 can be written as 3 norm u is equal to what now 3 okay norm of u is 3 this is the finding of norm next to find a unit vector in the direction of the vector u bar now you we, you need to find what unit vector so okay u bar is given minus 1 comma 2 the unit vector in the direction of u is given as so just a representation this x is what unit vector representation x is equal to in the direction of u bar okay u bar by norm u bar here you will get two cases one is what in the same direction in the opposite direction okay in the same direction in the opposite direction so he will mention in the question clearly what is opposite direction or same direction if he did not mention anything in the direction of u bar means you should take same direction okay so what is the difference between same direction and the opposite direction for opposite direction here you should take minus here you should take minus in the same direction you should take plus that much only difference okay for answer if you take here minus then it is uh, it will be in the opposite direction if you take plus it is the same direction okay so now x is equal to u bar by norm u u bar is given minus 1 2 and uh, norm u is nothing but root of minus 1 square 2 square that is 1 plus 4 root 5 minus 1 by root 5 2 by root 5 it also be can be written as like this okay sometimes we will write like this and like this no problem x is equal to minus 1 by root 5 2 by root 5 is what unit vector now find a unit vector in the direction of v next question so here is given v now we need to find unit vector in the direction of v let us take u be the unit vector in the direction of v is as u is equal to there there we choose here x here u but here here u here v so same formula that is u is equal to v by norm u norm u is nothing but u is nothing but minus 6 4 minus 3 norm u is nothing but root minus 6 square plus 4 square plus minus 3 square then it will be 1 by root 36 16 9 minus 6 4 minus 3 so it, it is what 1 by root 61 minus 6 4 3 minus 3 it can be written as minus 6 by root 61 4 by root 61 minus 3 by root 61 is what is the required unit vector i hope all you clear up to here okay let us see one more okay so let us take this homework problems okay so take these problems and do uh, do these problems and uh, if you get answer write in a comment box what you get answers okay i hope all you understand uh, this fourth unit also very easy and important in fourth unit in fourth unit gram smith process is very important gram smith process is very important this will come for long answer type question okay this gram smith will come for long answer type question up to now what i explained this unit vector will come for short answer type question okay i hope all you clear thank you thank you for watching feel free to ask anything have a nice day